You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 291st episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, seated beside my beautiful, (laughs) she has me all uh, Twitter-pated, the beautiful... The lovely Laura. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, we're we're, talk, we're talking the business of plumbing. You've forgotten how to do this. And it's been you? a while since we've been doing this because we survived uh-huh. Hurricane Delta. We did. Hey, in Les, Cancun. We did in Cancun. We we were there um, for ten days. Cancun with with our private coaching clients. Right. A number of them got to go down, and um, lo and behold, a little hurricane came our way, and yep. um, Cancun was like the epicenter. We still had a great time. Had a great time. All <laughs> right. Thais, we almost did, but Danny and Thais, they it, that couldn't come better. in. Yeah, because, they could have hung out with us. Yeah. yeah. Their it, flight was due to land the same didn't time the come hurricane. Part of the, the hurricane. <laughs> hey, but we're going to have a great time tonight <laughs> here. Leslie. We have a great episode for you. We do. And we're talking a fight worth winning. Mm-hmm. All right. Hi, Josh. All right. A fight worth winning. Hey, are you feeling like you're like one step up, two steps back, or, you know, you know, you're feeling like a little bit of fatigue, okay? Fatigue. Wondering if all this uh, plumbing business stuff is even worth it. Mm. Well, it is. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna discuss why you may be feeling that fatigue mm-hmm. and what you can do about it. So okay. stick around. All yes. right, and have a great discussion here. So, Kelly Ball, so everybody hey. knows. Check in. What, what's your What do you say? Um, all right, hey, type live. Right, type live okay, if you're watching kind of live. So, <laughs> all right, let us know. I'm glad you're here, part of the live social audience. If hey, you're Chris. watching the replay, please type replay. Mm-hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. Yes, all right, all right. Who do we have joining uh, us let's tonight? Let's see, Mr. and Mrs. Butts, Michael right. and Jen, the Plumbing, Plumbing Express. Express. That, all right. Is your logo um, a train? Okay, that'd be, that'd be cool. Like a local Okay, or, or like the Pony Express, you know, guy oh, going, you know. Oh, that kind like too, a, you I know, guess. Pl- right? Okay, Hi, Aaron. Cool. Yeah. Hey, um, welcome, Aaron. Good Aaron's to have you on board Sylvia. here with us live. Live, Kristen. All right. Kristen, Talent Kristen. Is all right. House. Hey, guys. Boy, everybody checking in. Glad everybody's here on a Monday, right? All is right. It Monday? Well, it's are... fun day. It's fun day, fun day, <laughs> Monday. Hey, hey Bob Bello. Bob. Can you tell me, do you have a tan? We did get some tan in. <laughs> we got some tanning. I got got some tanning in. We did. You All know, right. someone um, said something. They were watching the Success Academy, and those were recorded when we lived um, in in Indiana. Right. Right. Hey, Joseph. Um, and they're like, "You are awfully white." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white boy. I just <laughs> got I just got all freckles here. That's right. what the tan does. Got one big or, freckle. Got one big freckle mm-hmm. now. But yes, okay. Cancun. We did get some sun. Hey, right. We did get. Yes. yes. Hey, it was it was an experience. It was an experience. You know, we look forward to these times with with our clients. Mm-hmm. You know, there is a bonding time mm-hmm. just being together. Um, ooh, but it is certainly a train. this time. Um, oh, cool. Fun. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it, it was a, a special time because mm-hmm. you know we got uh, what well, we got uh, evacuated. 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 Well, okay. first of all, it was the hey, well, we, we experienced what? Um, first, there was a tropical storm. Tropical storm, the, storm when we first got there. Uh, gamma, 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 something or like yeah. that, which mm-hmm. was you know Thanks for two less. days of that. Then we had like a day and a half of sun, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden <laughs> they said we got to evacuate. There's a hurricane coming, <laughs> which yes. meant they were kicking us out of the hotel. Right, we had to leave the resort we had to leave and they actually uh, wanted to send us hey Danny they actually wanted to send us to a school yeah, to sleep on we weren't cots. having that so yeah. the lovely Laura got on it she was on <laughs> it on it we were not going to sleep on a no. cot in a downtown Cancun city Mexican school, school which yeah anyway so which we, we found out <laughs> later with school had no roof which is kind hey, of with, Matt with Carter. The, um, kind of those kinds of schools. Yes, you know, we saw like that in Costa Rica, school. Mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, so right. really no roof. Um, there were no cots. There was one bathroom for a few hundred people. No a food. Kitty bathroom. Yeah, oh, yeah, a kitty bathroom. A kitty Mexican <laughs> bathroom. Okay, not a resort bathroom. No. So okay. we um, thankfully we we got out of there. We got to another resort. About an hour and a half away. Um, yeah. Still experienced the hurricane, but at least we weren't sleeping on a. We got floor. like the last, the last ten rooms or mm-hmm. whatever. Yes, in the had. hotel. Right. Yeah. So anyway, made it back. To, so then we got right. back to Cancun, and the weather was amazing. A beautiful. beautiful. It, I mean, was it was nice. perfect. It was perfect. Just, just what you would, would hope for. Right. So we had some adult beverages in the pool. We did. We all needed some business. <laughs> talk some life. You know. It was, it was a good. Good time. Yeah, 20 of us. Yeah. And a big crowd. It was a good time. Mm-hmm. All right. Look okay. forward to doing it again. We do, just right. not during hurricane season. 
No, Just I saying. think we're going to go someplace else mm-hmm. next uh, hurricane season. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It won't be we learned something Cancun. There. Ain't so, no storm stopping MDP. That's, that's right. right. Danny Penn. There's a life lesson there. Mm-hmm. All right. Actually, Made it through the storm. <laughs> Those who make it through the storm, mm-hmm. you know, and then there's beautiful skies. Mm-hmm. The same goes with your plumbing business. Yeah. And that kind of fits with the fatigue thing yeah. you know, we're talking about. Okay. Hey, hey got a question for mm. you here. All right. Mm-hmm. Gets, let's answer question. this question. Mm-hmm. Are you the first in your family to start a business? Mm. All right. Let us know. Yeah. Okay. Are you the first mm-hmm. in your family? Are you making a generational switch? Right. To start a business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Let us know. That's a big deal. It is. We got anybody? Mm-hmm. I see. And then Jesse's saying um, he's live, and it's been a while. It has been a while, Jesse. I think we haven't had a, done a live show for two weeks. About two. Weeks. I'm kind of feeling out of the groove. I know. We got. Right. It's good to be we, back. How do we do this? I good don't to be with you guys. Sparky's in the house. Hey, um, Josh. Josh says yep, yes. Josh. He's, he's yep. the first one in his family to start up, start a plumbing, or not any plumbing, any business. Any business. Any right. business at all. Jesse, Jesse yes. First one. All right. Very, very that, that's, common. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, What's Charlie. What's up, Charlie? Bees. All right. <laughs> Charlie survived. The, the, the king and queen bee, they were there with us. They survived. Mm-hmm. Always great spending time. With hey, Bob says guys. yes. The first, first in his family one. to start a business. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very common. Leslie's, nope. Nope, that's right. Nope. I think you're dead, right? Yeah. Yes, pretty sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, first in the family, Mike Chastain. Lisa mm-hmm. McConnell, how well, are you doing? Hey, we'll give a hey, shout out hey. to you guys. It was fun hey guys, talking with yeah, you guys earlier. Yeah, talking with you guys yep. earlier. Mm-hmm. Charlie B um, said no. no yep. That's right. His, his, his dad, right? He's actually had a plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, All TK, right. Yeah. TK's, yes. So All right. That's what's most common. First yeah. one, usually it's, Danny, it's the first yep, one. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was, I was yes, yes for me. Yeah. Me first too. in my family. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, my parents were both factory workers. I had nine aunts and uncles on one side and 11 on the other. And I can't think of any of them that had their own business. No. Oh. No, I don't think Same so. Same with mine. I've got like 80 some first working cousins. Class. Yeah. You know. Hey, Lance. Lance, yep, he's the first one, yep. too. So. All right. Okay, so. so that, and that leads us to a thing, yeah. you know. Uh, the question okay. out of all this, yeah, you know, is this a fight worth winning? That's okay. that's the, the title of tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, episode here. <laughs> cheers to 10 million, Danny. Wait. There we go. All right. Danny. Cheers, cheers to 10, 10 million. million. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. We'll drink to that. Mm. While we're drinking to that, make sure you get notified when Potty Talk Live goes live. Somewhere on your device, there should be a little button or something or somewhere that lets you get notified when we go live. Be sure to hit that. So right there. Thank you, Sparky. Right. Good cue. So let's take a drink while everybody's doing okay. that. We'll just mm-hmm. wait. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Is that coffee? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's a special kind of water. <laughs> water okay <laughs> it is water yep all right, all right. so what do you we're got drinking so much water in fact oh my goodness i, I think i got if i have to go to the bathroom <laughs> you, you got to take over okay it all of a sudden hits me you are not I'm drinking leaving. so much water uh-huh. but that, that's what the doc said i mean i need to drink more water, more water. you know to kind of yeah get myself flushed out and that kind of stuff <laughs> okay wow. that's okay. more than we <laughs> okay. need to know oh my gosh all right okay hey, what is what it got? a fight worth winning mm-hmm. are you feeling fatigued Mm-hmm. Okay, with you know, with your plumbing business. Okay, okay and that's a common thing. Mm-hmm. I, I hear hear that a lot. Sure. And and quite frankly, um, you know, that's where a lot of guys get you know, just give lose up. it. They give up. Mm-hmm. I mean, because it's um, hard. It is hard. It's really hard. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so that fatigue sets in, and we just throw our hands up. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there's a few reasons they why tap out. they tap out. Yeah, mm-hmm. they do. That's a good. Look at that. The lovely Laura is a sports. Yeah, very I good. That, that's a good sports analogy. It's not whiskey type. They, they, they tap Thank out. You know, they start. You know. They just can't take the pain any longer. Can't take it. You know, mm-hmm. the business has them in a hold, okay, and they like tap a, out. an arm bar. An arm bar, so like that. <laughs> <laughs> I did see Here Comes the Boom. So. Okay, right. I know all That's about right. M- MMA. Is that yes. It? Okay. <laughs> okay, I know it all. Here Comes the Boom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're cracking ourselves up. Okay, we're having a good time. Okay, so, but for fatigue. Yes, okay? fatigue. All right. Okay. So what what's uh, one of the first reasons that you may feel fatigued in your plumbing business? Mm-hmm. All right, working in mm. the key word there is in in, in your business. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you're working in your business, it could cause all fatigue. Right? You're, what you're doing, everything. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes straight to the line. Get your butt out of the truck. Okay, that's that's why we we, we work on that, and when we say that, we need to get your butt out of the truck. Yes, um, not just because it. You know, leads to other better things, mm-hmm. but it's the sooner we can get you out of the truck, 
the, the quicker we can, you know, work against that fatigue. It's right. awfully fatiguing. Fatiguing? Is that fatiguing? a word? No, I just I made it up. That's all, all right, fatiguing. Mm-hmm. Being in the truck, Tiring. okay, mm-hmm. and then trying to work on the business right. as well. Because okay? working all day and more than likely answering right. the phones. You're the one on the phones, right? And then you're doing the job. Sorry, you're doing the jobs. And then you're going home trying to build the business. Right. 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 Find guys, do your marketing, all those things. Oh, that's and that's exhausting. a trap. You know, you're working mm-hmm. in the truck. We, you, we got to get you to where you're working on your business, mm-hmm. not in your in business. business. That's why we ask, you know, we, we come, a lot of us come from, you know, um, the working, you know, the working class. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where we're actually doing, you know, the hands on work. Right. Um, even with a lot of our businesses, uh, you know, with some of these that say they had, you know, the, the, their parents had businesses mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. really they were trapped in the business. They right. were working in the business. Right. Not okay. on Not the business. Not on the business. Right. Okay. They own their job, you they might say. They own their job. That's mm-hmm. a good term. That, if mm-hmm. you've ever, ever heard that, mm-hmm. you know, you own your job. Right. You know, as, a, as opposed to owning an asset. Right. Okay. And mm-hmm. sadly, that's where most plumbing businesses are. Right. Is that they, they basically own their job. Okay. Mm-hmm. They got their name on the, you know, on the truck. Right. But, but you're working 80, 90 right. hours. You're working weekends. You're working holidays. Right. And not getting ahead. Okay. That's when you know you own your job. And that will beat you up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Chris Allen says, we're only seven months old looking to be out of the truck in the next two years. Why so long, Chris? All right, Chris. All right. Too long. All right. Too long. Uh, what say you, MD peers out there? What would you say to Chris? Right. That, that's a working, uh, that, that's, a that's, per, that's a perfect example. And of, we're not beating you up, Chris. Not, of coming at all. from where we come from, the mm-hmm. working class mm-hmm. attitude. I hope to be out, I'll be out of the truck in, in two years. That's way too long. You could be out of the truck in three months if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's very, 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 very possible. Very, 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 very. <laughs> you just got to be able to do the right things. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, number one, working mm-hmm. in your business instead of on your business. That's what creates okay. fatigue. Yes. Business fatigue. Get your butt out of the truck. Mm-hmm. Number two. Uh, okay. okay mm-hmm. Number two. Yes. All right. Not making money. Oh, that's exhausting. That'll wear your butt out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money. No. Right. And I'm working constantly. I'm working 100 hours a week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where really it's your you're kind of, you're passing money. You're not making, well, you know, like that, a lot of guys say they're, you know, they got the big, um, you know, um, home builder contracts mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff yes. for the commercial, Remodels and you know, and they're making, you know, I, I'm making, you know, 50,000 a month, a hundred thousand a month, but the, but the bank account's not going up. Right. You know, cause you're really not making that. You're just really passing that money along. The supplier's making it. Right. Right. The supplier's, and your helper's supplier's making doing it. well. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but you, Right. Not so much. Okay. Yeah. So not making money is exhausting, and it just causes stress in the yep. in the family. Cause especially with the wives, guys. If you don't learn anything at all about women, we are security based. We need security. Please get out of the truck now. Mm-hmm. Being ready doesn't exist. Being ready, right? <laughs> uh, it doesn't wise. right. I'm only six months old. Uh, Del- Matt Delney. That's right. Matt. Um, what do you call him? Um, Delaney. 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 Right. But it's not. And that is Mountaineer Plumbing, who has gone through some big, big, big stuff within his six months. Right. 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 Just doing the right stuff. Right. It's doing. Matt, how many? How many guys do you got? Um, how many trucks Mike, do you have? Just yeah. Mike says just pull. Pull the trigger. trigger. Just do mm-hmm. it. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, All right. You're so young. You're so young. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And Mike Chastain's been around the block or two. Yes. So and he's making big changes. Yes. So anyway, guys. Us girls are security based. We are security based. So not having money is very fatiguing right. and stressful. Um, let's see. Jesse said, look, guys, I can't get it out of there. I'm a big, big car seat small. I'm halfway out of the truck. All right. Looking for someone. What's the rest of it? Looking for someone to get in my truck. Then I'll get, be completely out. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Keep looking. Keep uh, looking. You know, you got it. A lot of times, look, I look. I, we're, we're, this Thanks, is a no Lance. snowflake zone, and we talk mm-hmm. straight. A lot of times, I hear guys use that excuse: I can't find anybody, mm-hmm. I can't get someone in the truck. Right. Really, that's a look. If, if we're honest, mm-hmm. most of us, it's the hardest thing to be the guy, the plumber, to get out of the truck because right. in the truck, I know everything. Three trucks. Hold on. Okay. So Matt, within six months, three trucks and one CSR. Right. And completely rebranded. Phones are ringing off the hook. He's Google guaranteed. Got GMB going. Making it happen, killing it, him and Sarah, okay. mm-hmm. and and it's that the truck can actually be like you know Linus's little blankie. You know, it's mm. so comfortable in the truck. It's what you know. I know the truck, and I know what to do <laughs> in the truck, in the face. and I know house. I know what to do. I can you know. And when the business, if we're honest with ourselves, mm. 
all the you know the numbers and the dealing with people and the stuff doesn't work as mm-hmm. quickly as we like mm-hmm. and all that and and so it's a little scary certainly and know? Brent Hartpool champion plumbing out of Choctaw, Choctaw which we, we're going to still say we're Choctaw. not going to say Edmund right. we're just not going right. to do it he said you'll never be ready get out and run the business right you never it's never going to be perfect you right. never ever be ready. ever okay. it's like having kids right you're never ready right you just never are hey hey Matt, Matt Carter Matt Carter, Carter. Carter. plumbing out okay. of the Motor City okay what well, Matt say we we were gone for a week yes they mm-hmm. were with us on this trip mm-hmm. they survived Hurricane <laughs> Delta <laughs> we are going to get a grand time we are gonna get get right t-shirts and my business um ran perfectly Mm -hmm. all right absolutely no problems except for one and fired that problem today right (laughs) because he's always hiring always recruiting (laughs) always recruiting that's right always recruiting you know Um, yeah that's the that's the freedom lifestyle and i mean matt's business is your business isn't that old has two years yeah yeah. yeah. and you have five four or five guys i can't remember matt gone Mm -hmm. through rebranding killing it with gmb and and um and Google local services. Right. So it can be done. Right. It can be done. But it, but it's up here, okay? Right. And part of that of not making money, okay, um, you know, is getting out of the, out of the uh, trap of just passing the money along. Mm-hmm. It's also um, not charging enough, okay? Mm-hmm. Of charging what you're worth, okay? And knowing what you need to charge, right. not, um, I speak to guys all the time, mm-hmm. even, even today. And we spoke, spoke to one today, and hopefully you're still mm-hmm. watching. Uh, that, Hi, that you it, know who you yeah, are. That admitted <laughs> that, you know, I just got the, the price book from the other company and mm-hmm. just took $10 off. Or 10% or, or something. Or something like that, yeah. or whatever. We all did, we all did that we kind all did, of stuff. We did it. Or we ask at the supply house, what do you guys charge? Or <laughs> well, we charge this. And, oh, like they really know. Okay, <laughs> come on. You know, we're going to follow the guys off the cliff. <laughs> you know, the same guys with the beat up equipment and, mm-hmm. the, you know, right. like, yeah, don't listen to them. Right. Um, okay. Jesse's asking, what is rebranding? Rebranding um, is in your, your logo or your, your name of your company or, um, yeah, your logo. Right. Is the best okay. way to say it. Mm-hmm. That's something that's memorable, that, that creates emotion. Right. Okay. So, if, Jesse, I don't know what the name of your plumbing business is uh, or, you know, what your trucks look like, but more right. than likely, they ne- it needs to be rebranded and updated. And not look like a plumbing company. Right. Okay. Um, customers aren't, um, they're looking for security. Mm-hmm. Okay. Customers buy from those they know, like, and trust. Right. And they don't trust plumbers. Nope. Okay. Unfortunately. So us, you know, having our plumbing company with a skull on it, you know, you know, <laughs> the skull and it's cool with a couple, you know, crescent riches going through it. And that is so cool. No, it isn't. Well, it's no, stupid. No, it's not. It's all right. <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah, we had one company. <laughs> Matt's they, got five trucks. All right. So two years, I think. Matt, am right. I right? Two years? I there think we so. go. Yeah. Want to be like? I want to be like Matt. You're well on your way. <laughs> oh. There's Works Plumbing, a great brand. No Look kidding. At that. Yep. With, with Works, Rocket, mm-hmm. you know. Kick, All right, from kick, kick charge. charge. Yep. That's right. There, um, yeah, if you want any information about rebranding, type kick charge in the comments and you will get some information, as there a matter of fact. So, yep. um, yeah, a number of our clients have done some major rebranding that look amazing. Branding's uh, huge, okay? Huge. If, if you're mm-hmm. serious about uh, growing a successful plumbing business that mm-hmm. creates a freedom lifestyle, something oh, so, that they, Oh, sorry. Okay. So, Kristen, and their last name is Talent. We just changed names from Talent. Um, plumbing to right choice plumbing sewer and drain cleaning too many names too many too i think it should okay Kristen, yep. i think you yeah, should just, just be <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, unsolicited Chris. advice that you didn't even ask for at all um, well, right here, choice is a great okay? name it's my it's show and i'm going to tell you the truth <laughs> nope. it's it's all our right. mic um, right. i like right choice that's really good but it should just be right choice right plumbing. choice plumbing and that's it because what happens is is there's just too much to read and mm-hmm. you think of it on the truck and the people are making decisions like this and if the mind has to think, you know, what's plumbing sewer? Sewer, mm-hmm. you know, doesn't necessarily mean that they, you know, the customers understand what sewer is. They understand right. what plumbing is. Right. Right and choice does create a good, a good, a good connotation. Good connotation. Yeah. Right. But um, plumbing, um, uh, the sewer and drain. If you see the word plumbing, then most consumers know you do everything related to plumbing, including including drains. So, um, let's see. Jesse's saying my truck's 100% like a plumbing truck, but I haven't wrapped nice. My name is Drip Drop. Drip drop plumbing, drip drop. Does that okay. mean after you're done plumbing, this plumbing drips and drops and you drip know? Drip drops, well, um, I mean, it's kind of catchy, cute, yeah. but um, you know. yeah, I don't know. Drip drop Jesse, plumbing. send us a picture. Send yeah. us um, a picture. Love, hey, we'll, love be, to see we'll be straight with, hey, you want? Yeah, we don't, look, the we idea don't is, hold anything back. <laughs> you know, this, this isn't, um, you know, if you're looking for a safe zone, um, you this know. This would not be it. 
you, you, you got to move to, you know, Candyland or something <laughs> with the other candy arses, okay? But, arses. But, but if you're looking to be successful, okay, there, there is a game. There is mm-hmm. a right way to do things, okay? Mm-hmm. There's a psychology to this, right. okay? Mm-hmm. Um, so what are we talking know, about? Money. We're talking about okay. money. But money, Not right. having money can it, cause fatigue. Right. Sorry. And so and it's knowing what your true, what your honest hourly rate, that's what we, what we call it, mm-hmm. okay, what I call it, your honest hourly rate, right. where you're being honest with yourself, and it also means honest with your customer. I hear so many guys say, I just I want to charge a fair price, a fair <laughs> price. You know, what those guys, those big companies are charging, that's not a fair price. They're ripping people off. Right, I'll charge half that. Now that's a fair price, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. But well, there's, no. okay, but they're a big but, company for right. a reason. I mean, they're, they're obviously doing something right. Customers obviously right. like them or they would go out of business. Right. They just would. You know, so you want to be charge it on. If you truly, truly, truly want to be honest with your customers, you, you got to know what all your expenses are and what you're really selling. Right. Okay. And it ain't plumbing. Okay. It ain't plumbing. Mm-mm. All right. So you, you got to know those. It's a secret what right, it is. Right. You got to know those kinds of things. <laughs> but I'll, I'll help you lead that way for you. In mm-hmm. fact, I got I got something free here for you. You do. I do. All right. Check this out. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Just for joining us here and being, being part of the our program here. Mm-hmm. All right. It's my seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. Mm. Okay. Okay. These are seven things that you got to know. Like you know, charging your honest hourly rate, mm-hmm. okay? And what that is, okay? Mm-hmm. With six other things, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that you gotta know to have a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Mm-hmm. It's all there in my seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. And right now you can grab it for free. All right, it's my free mm-hmm. e-booklet. Simply type seven in the comments. Yes. Or go to the million dollar plumber.com mm-hmm. forward slash seven to grab your free copy today. Today. All yeah, right. I saw Daryl, DW, put a comment in. You have to put... You have to put time into your name for sure. That is Inception Plumbing. Inception Plumbing. Out right. of um, Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, Brandy. Right? Brandy's a big Should deal. This isn't what the program's about, but mm-hmm. Brandy's were there, and there's been some you know questions there. Mm-hmm. Branding is huge. We need to get Dan back on. Okay. Yes, because mm-hmm. branding is huge. Mm-hmm. All right. If you're, if, you're, if you're truly wanting to create, you know, a plumbing business asset. Mm-hmm. All right, branding's part of that. Yes, okay? absolutely. All right, um. and it's not just you know Joe's <laughs> Plumbing, or you know, um, you know the plumbing guy. Mm-hmm. You know, it, there, there's 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 other things that go into that. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I fix I think, drip right. drops. <laughs> how can I send a photo? Um, let's see. Just um, how are we gonna do it? Um, how can he send a photo? He can. Bop, 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 bop. Send it through Messenger. Uh, if you're friends with Richard on, on Facebook, send it through Messenger. Or through go. the MDP, um, Million Dollar Plumber page. Yep. Yeah, just send a picture. Um, yeah, and so. Jesse, I'll be honest with you. Hey, that's what, look, I'm, I'm your brother, okay? I'm your big brother. I want you to be successful, mm. okay? So it doesn't, you know, I could say nice things and, and say, oh, that's cute, or that, that's nice and all that, but that doesn't do you anything, mm. you're right? Doesn't do you any good. All right, you know, I, I Joe's want. Joe's Plumbing. Right. Joseph, that is not the name of your business. I'm pretty sure. I hope sure. it's not, Joe. That is not. I'm, okay. I'm, pretty, I'm Joe, pretty sure it's Joe, not. we're going to change that right no, now. Joseph, I, I think Joseph's <laughs> in the Success Academy. Right. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Joe is not right. right. <laughs> okay. Uh, it ain't about plumbing. That's we're right. La- we're laughing with you. We're we're laughing. <laughs> we so here's a great brand right there, Aspen Mountain Mountain. Aspen Plum. Mountain Plumbing. Now, yes. in that community, Aspen Mountain. In Rock cre- Springs, In Rock Wyoming. Springs, Wyoming. Aspen Mountain has an emotion. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows what Aspen Mountain is. Mm-hmm. And so that they plant their flag so that would come, come from a company that was just one truck mm-hmm. okay so they planted their flag as we are the community plumbing company right all right and it's a positive emotion in the colors right I mean, exactly that's even, what i was going to say they went as far as using um colors that were very familiar to that area which is the university of wyoming's colors brown and gold right, right. So, which is their big sports that's that's all their sports and all that kind right. of stuff so that's they don't have a professional team right. or anything so um, yeah, it so was a great. They're, yeah, as great Mountain, yeah, it's, right. it's amazing. They're chug. So this is one thing to do too. Um, some of you guys that are out, see some of the ones that are um, obviously MDP clients and the ones that have gone through rebranding. Go stalk them out on Facebook and see what they've. Done. I get it. It's an emotional thing when we come up with our name and I, I put my name on it. I put my stamp on it, mm-hmm. and so I, it's quality. It's the best plumbing. <laughs> All right. And I get that. OK. And it, mm-hmm. I get, you know, it's very important. But the customer doesn't care. OK. You want to do not. do what what attracts the customers. And it's a lot of noise out there. Mm-hmm. OK. And um, just having, you know, best plumbing mm-hmm. uh, or, know, doesn't mean necessarily create enough emotion. Right. That's why, you know, having mascots, you see this with mascots. And I say mm-hmm. this all the time. Yes. It'd be better to call your your plumbing oh business, goodness. you know, um, cute kitten plumbing. Don't do that. And have a picture of a kitten. Don't do that. 
okay? But that is better than what I see most guys have Joe's out there. Joe's Plumbing? It's better than what most guys have out Joe, there. Joe, here's the name okay. for your, your plumbing business now. What is it? Cute, cute Kitty? Cute cute Kitten Plumbing. <laughs> cute Kitty Plumbing, okay? And have a picture of a kitten, you know, whatever. That attracts people. People are attracted to that. And, and, the, and, the, and the brain remembers that. Oh, okay, those plumbers. I know you're laughing. You're thinking, oh, that, your guy's full of crap. <laughs> you know, no, it's, it's, that's how it works. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. right. And not having all your things that you do on there, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. because what happens is, first of all, the brain doesn't read everything that's on there. Right. And if you happen to miss something that they don't have or it's not clear, it's right. like, well, they don't. Well, they don't do that. They, they don't, don't do water heaters. They don't do that. That's why for right. whoever had out there that they did, you know, it was plumbing, drain, sewer. You yeah, know, everything. And roof cleaning. <laughs> it's like, the uh, you know, I don't know what you do. And I know it sounds, you and think. And the customers well, tap out. Right. And the, the customers tap out. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If the brain even simple. taps in, you know, the brains are tapped out. Okay. Cool cats. Cool, cool cats and kittens. kittens. There we go. There you go. You cool. have a cool cat. <laughs> cool cat plumbing. Cool cat plumbing. Oh. oh. And our plumbing. our plumbing is See, perfect. <laughs> exactly. The guys are working it. And very right, good. good. <laughs> That's awesome. You're right. still going to steal that, aren't yes, you? Yes, <laughs> yes. See, it works. It works. You won't forget it. The, the brain doesn't forget it. It, it, it feels good. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why also with brand, I mean, this is what the show is. I know branding. this is not but, about brand. But guys, this is for, we have a, I think we have some people that are look in this area, mm-hmm. you know, that are looking this way. Mm-hmm. It is so important. <laughs> That's why it's important also not to do something that creates a negative emotion. Like, you know, I'm very, very patriotic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't call it American plumbing and have right. flags. Or patriotic plumbing. You know, or Trump plumbing, you know, or whatever <laughs> it is that you're, you know, Mega. you know, M16 plumbing, you know, something <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. It, it just it, it creates a negative emotion. And we're also well, very faith based. Well, yes. But I wouldn't call it, you know, agape yeah. plumbing mm-hmm. and that kind of yeah, thing because plumbing, right. people have emotions, you know. Right. You want to stay um, vanilla, right? To some degree. This is the place. Right. Now, um, now you can share your faith and your your patriotism by you know providing good service and, and how you serve people and mm-hmm. what you do and that kind of a thing. Right. But as far as the name, that make people feel comfortable mm-hmm. you know, approaching you. Right. You know, customers buy from those they know. Like okay, so trust. no, they, they've seen your trucks. You know, the brain remembers seeing your, tr- you know, right. okay, who they like. Ooh, I like, they got a cute kitten. Mm. They got a cute, I like that mascot. Their yeah. plumbing is perfect. Perfect. All right. They just, okay, <laughs> so that's just, it, it is, I know it's silly, but it works just like that. Um, okay. Joseph, Northern Air, I knew it wasn't Joe's plumbing. Yeah. Northern Air plumbing and heating. So, okay, good. Okay. Um, and uh, Charlie said, we've got agape plumbing here. Yeah, see, most people don't even know what agape is. Yeah. Right. If you're, if you're not faith based. Right. If you're not a Christian, you probably don't even know what agape you know, plumbing is. And that or agape turns, is. That, you know, that turns people off. Mm-hmm. You know. So yeah. And you, they won't, typically won't know how to pronounce it. Right. If they see agape. That's agape. why I support. Yeah, the kind of words you mm-hmm. choose and that kind of stuff. I don't know what that means. Or right. so the brain when it sees it, so it just says no. Nope, I'm out. I don't have time. Tapping out. That's right. our new thing. Tapping out. Um, what if you're <laughs> Jeff Trump? What if your name is Trump? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeff Trump. <laughs> Still don't Still, do it. Especially. Especially. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a Trump, yeah. you know, I'm a, I'm a Trumper, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an American, Winning. you know, I love America, <laughs> mm-hmm. so I'm a Trumper, mm-hmm. all right? But it's still, that creates an emotion. Right. First of all, it's a last name. Even that name is known now, mm-hmm. but there's there's too much emotion around yeah, that. Too much. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, Jesse. We'll, Thank we'll you. take, we'll a, take look a look at look. that tomorrow for right. sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. Um, okay. So. So number three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? So you know, what are the problems that make you fatigue? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. All right. All right. Number three. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't know your why. Mm, you don't know your why. That is a biggie. This is a biggie. Uh, you don't know why you're doing what you're doing. Right. Okay. And it's not because you love plumbing. If it is, you're. Then just, you need you need to you get need rid to of the business of mm-hmm. and go go be a plumber somewhere. Go be a great plumber somewhere. Yeah, else. great. Go be a great mm-hmm. plumber. For and there's a lot else. of great plumbing companies listening right now. Yes. So, okay. Yes. But it's not knowing why you're doing. You know, I had a, um, I guess a mentor. You mm-hmm. know, um, back in the day, in um, the day. that that said, you know, I was going going through a tough time and mm-hmm. was, was working with me to help me get you know make money you know okay. that kind of thing, mm-hmm. and that said that if no matter what you do and no matter how hard the times are, when you're making money, mm-hmm. life is good. Mm. The business, okay. no matter, I mean, you it's amazing. If, you feel like it's. You, right, that's why we try to get, like, one of the first things we, like with the academy mm-hmm. is, you know, even with, with our private clients, we get you to get, get in your honest hourly rate. Right. I even think to someone we talked to, to tonight, mm-hmm. today, earlier today, mm-hmm. no matter what we go further in the, what are we doing in the relationship mm-hmm. right now, up raise, your, raise and your hourly rate. If you're watching, 
I would love to know if you did it. Right. He had a couple jobs after. Right. After no, we because did, no so. matter how, you know, plumbing, you know, a business, you know, goes up and down. Mm-hmm. Okay. And no matter how bad it gets. Okay. If you're making money. All right. It's, it's easier to fire someone. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Come home and deal with crap. Right. It, it's, it's easier to deal with the system that isn't going, coming together so smoothly. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's not that money makes you happy. No, no. That, that's, that's not it. My why is huge. Yes. I'm sure I know it is, Lance. Um, it's not that money's going to make you happy. That, that isn't what we're talking no. about. Um, mo- money does not make you happy. It does by not. The way. Um, right. Money's just a tool. Right. It's just a tool. Um, but it does give you, um, it, it releases, relieves some stresses, right? right. Um, that allows you then to focus on other areas of, of your business where you're not kind of freaking out about money. Right. But your why, and when, we, when we're talking your why, it's, 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 what, it's the life that you want to create. Right. Okay. All right. Not mm-hmm. the business. Okay. Why are you doing, why, why, why you, did you start this plumbing business? Okay. Right. Yes. You really have to answer that question. Why did I start this plumbing business? And I guarantee you, it's not because you love plumbing. Right. Or, and, and you also can't really say, um, I, I wanted to um, be the best plumber out there, have the best plumbing company, or I wanted to be the cheapest plumber. Right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that would be a race you don't want to win. That's what right. we said to someone earlier today. That is right. a race to the bottom, and it's a race you don't want to win. Um, you know, for, and I'm living my why today. I've lived my. I wanted freedom. I wanted to do what I wanted to do right. when I wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to have to babysit my guys all day. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do plumbing. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, you know. I, you know, I didn't want to babysit the guys. Mm-hmm. I wanted to travel, mm-hmm. okay, with the family. I wanted to go with the lovely Laura mm-hmm. and sit by the water mm-hmm. and drink adult beverages mm-hmm. and watch the sun glisten off you. you know, <laughs> you, okay. All right. Well, and okay. we eventually wanted to move somewhere out of the snow. Out of the snow. Go somewhere where it's warm, and, and we were able to do that. Right. No. So. And so that's the why of, of having the plumbing business. I didn't mm-hmm. want. You know, I talk to guys all the time. You know, do you, do you want to have the have to be the best plumbing? Mm-hmm. You want to have the best plumbing, okay? Or do you want to, um, you know, live your life, okay? Mm-hmm. You know that mm-hmm. kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. All right, you can't you you really you can't do both, I mean, because you can't focus on both. Right. Okay? Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying let the plumbing go, but of that's the not. big that's the big issue we have when we work with guys. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's the experience we went through. I still, yeah. you know, our quality is the reason why you started your plumbing business. You're probably the best plumber, if not one of the best. Or Anybody out there the best plumber in their okay. area? You Anybody? know, you're, you're good, Hello. all right? And so your quality's up here. Mm-hmm. I'm here to tell you that you guys, you're gonna be lucky if you're best guy. I, I like to give guys hope and say it's 90%, but the reality of it is it's gonna be 80%. Right. And most mm-hmm. everyone else is gonna be 60, 70% of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's just how it is. Right. So if you spend your whole life, your whole driven to make sure these guys get the job just right in the way you wanna have it done and the truck is just the way you wanna have it done and nice you're doing all this the way you want and have it done it ain't gonna happen mm-hmm. so all your focus goes that way and that becomes very fatiguing but very fatiguing very fatiguing tell you right. saying um can't sign up when you think you're do- doing the right thing you kind of have to realize something is not working um yeah right to look right. um yep yeah, and then look for help yep yeah, so you got to be to a point where i'm not doing something yep. right and there's something i don't know which is what we did um right. i says why didn't i sign up with mdp years ago because you weren't ready yet. That's right. You were ready at the and, exact and Mike, perfect Mike's time. And Mike's a great example. I love Mike. In fact, <laughs> of all the guys, Mike was already successful. Mm-hmm. He, he was already mm-hmm. um, getting it done mm-hmm. and doing stuff, which is what a lot of the guys are doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, first of all, any any one of you guys, any of the guys that first of all gets in the ring and starts your own plumbing mm-hmm. business, <laughs> you're already a success, man. Bob's the I best mean, in his in area. In fact, just, had the, just having the courage to do that. It's guys you get to you know finally hits you that i want i want to be someplace else mm-hmm. i want more i want more security mm-hmm. okay and I, I want something. i want more freedom i want more time and i don't know and i don't know something mm-hmm. and that's when quite frankly when we're able to help mm-hmm. is when someone says you know i don't know something right i'm desperate and, and i'm desperate we mm-hmm. look for that you know, mm-hmm. I, I look for that. Not kind uh, of back and forth. Well, maybe, maybe, or of, I got it, or yeah. I, I, I know this, but I don't. You know, yeah. You know, like I know the guys that t- talk to me, like they, you know, you call me mm. and they're telling me everything they know. <laughs> well, you already know everything, man. Why, why? <laughs> like calling us? <laughs> right. I'm busy here. Right, I'm busy. Right. <laughs> you know, 
So it's good to be, you know, got to be desperate. So yes, what can we do? What, I don't know. What is so, it? Well, to, so, don't know your why. So don't know your why. So, so it's a gotta, practice that I do every morning. Oh. I was going to bring mine into the studio here. And you did not. My daily GPS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to show how simple it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, just, you know, I, just a little notebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I do this daily. I did this morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I do it every morning. Every morning. Okay. You did it during the hurricane. I didn't do it during the hurricane. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, but but do it every morning, mm -hmm. okay? And it's, it is just just that it's a GPS for your life, okay? Before you have it, okay? So you know, I I have on the business side, you can say I have ten trucks. Mm -hmm. So you're creating, writing as if right. You write it as I have. Mm -hmm. I have that ten trucks. Exists. Right. Okay. I I have, you know. You know, a Lamborghini. Okay. Not, <laughs> you do yeah, not have yeah. that down. That's not that's not one of mine. Okay. We went already went to that. No, that's not important. No. Okay. I do have I do ha I have a Cirrus Vision Jet. Mm. We're working on that. Because okay? we're gonna fly to all of our clients' locations. I do. Right. And not go through the dumb airport. Anymore. I don't want I never I don't I don't like being part of the cattle. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So and I want to <laughs> I just want to go as part of my and it goes back to the whole reason for starting any of my businesses. Mm. I mean my even with the plumbing business, or whatever. I want freedom. Right. I want to go when I want to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. what's important to me. That's part mm -hmm. of my why. So or you you say I am. So like you know I am two twenty and you know have a flat stomach you already and do and i'm working because it's been I'm working on it it's part of my okay we're getting there all right so you do that kind of stuff does that make mm -hmm. sense mm -hmm. okay you do that every day okay i have a second house in the mountains mm. okay or i have a vacation home that you'll go to I, by yourself and I'll go because right. i'm not going the lovely laura doesn't want to go to the mountains that's why we live in florida which i love i love living in florida too mm -hmm. i love it so and that was then that was part of our for a year mm -hmm. in our during our transition mm -hmm. i have a home that overlooks the ocean. Right. All right. And that's what we have today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But it just doesn't, it just doesn't happen. You know, so like if you're driving somewhere, you just get in the car, you don't know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lance, <laughs> you, right, have you have a cabin, cabin in Wyoming. <laughs> We've been talking about that. Jackson, <laughs> Teton Lance. Village. Lance. Of course, and as I was talking with the other guys, we want to make that an income property. Yes. All right. Course. Residual mm -hmm. income. Okay. Yes. All right, that's for another show. What do you do with this money after when you after you make it? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Kristen saying when you get so good that companies can't truly pay you what you're worth. Um, as a plumber, I'm assuming that's what you mean. That's when you start your plumbing business. I, do you think that's what she means? When you get so good that the companies, plumbing companies, can't pay you what you're worth. Well, and as a plumber. Right. Well, there's guys. I mean, you you have plumbers. Uh, hopefully, if we get into the piece rate and that kind of you know, that the guys are making six figures. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> In a bad way. I mean, he has all kinds of issues, problems. Matt does? <laughs> no, Richard oh. Bainey. Oh. oh, I'm like, go oh, no, no. no, Richard Bainey's not no. But, and he's young. What? He's like 12. Yeah, he's like 12. 12. I right. Think. I was going to say 13. I know. I mean, these are young and they're already oh, kicking yeah, butt. I know. So, I wish we would have been that oh, on top of it. Me too. We'd be the $10 million plumber. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Anyways. All right. No, it's it's up here when you're able to charge charge what you're worth, mm -hmm. and that, that's one of the biggest struggles with with your honest hourly rate. Mm -hmm. The guys is going, you know, I'm I'm not worth. Really, it is. I'm not worth that. Right. Even though you can see the numbers, what you got to charge. Mm -hmm. What's sad? The numbers mo do most, not lie. Most everyone is charging mm -hmm. what it really costs them to operate. <laughs> that's why it's one step up, two steps back. Right. But up here, it's I'm not worth that. Mm -hmm. Okay. D w dub. Hey dub. Um, don't start a business because you're good at plumbing. That's right. not the reason to start a plumbing business. Exactly. No, right. just be a good plumber. If you if you're good at plumbing and that's mm -hmm. what you're really into, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's great. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, there's companies. They I mean, need you, them. You, you can write your if you're really good <laughs> works. and will work someone's system. I mean, you can write your own ticket. You'd mm -hmm. be making six figures. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, doing that mm -hmm. um, without having all the stress, the startup stress, right. and, uh, and dealing with and the responsibility. Right, but, but know your why. But Darryl, know your did why. Did you see how I just did right. that, Daryl? Did you see that? Know your why. I just yep. Lance says I hunt year round. That's one of my GPS mm -hmm. whys. Yep. Right. I hunt year round. You can hunt year round. Because how how do, working on your you know your daily doing your daily GPS. Mm -hmm is in, you start your day off with that. So it's your roadmap with your life. You know you know why you're doing what you're doing, right. okay? So when, so when a day hits you upside the head, mm -hmm. which it will, okay, every mm -hmm. day, a crazy customer, you know, a crazy plumber who just quits or you got a fire, mm -hmm. okay? A truck breaks down, you know, something. But it's business. Right. You just kind of have to get used to it. 
Right. So the, like your um, daily, maybe they, a former employee GPS. leaving you a crappy review. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just had someone experience that. Right. No fun at all. Okay. Aaron says, ever since I did the honest, our HVI honest real, customers always want to talk me down on price. Ooh, okay. Uh, we need to have a show on that because there's a reason they're trying to talk you down on price. Right. And it's not because of your hourly rate. Right. It's your fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Aaron, but right. it is. Everything's your fault. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, it's how, and the good news right. is, oh, okay. the good news is, is the argue, you are getting pushback. Mm-hmm. For the guys, if you're never getting any pushback on your price. Your price is way too low. You got sucker written all over you. <laughs> Okay. Aaron, um, okay, so you're in the um, Success Academy. I'm making that assumption. Right. Make sure you're at the live coaching meetings and then have the question. Um, bring questions right. um, to Richard and, and kind of walk through that because there is a reason that that's happening and it's a, a fixable, solvable reason right. that can be solved. De- so, def- definitely. Yes. Yeah, so um, is there one this week? Is it? Uh, no, next week. Ne- it's um, the first and third Wednesday of every month, yep. right? So it'd be next week. So make sure you're there. Yep. So yeah, those of you in the academy is also mm-hmm. yeah we've open uh, coaching classes. We have live coaching classes. Live coaching classes mm-hmm. where I come in and mm-hmm. run over a topic, but mm-hmm. also I think I think the favorite part most guys like the Q and A. Q and A. Yeah. Ask any question at, at all. Right. Okay. And build it exactly, Brent. Right. Um, Brent, you're jumping the shark. That's that's the secret. There's that's one of <laughs> it's the main thing right there, and that's great. Coming, mm-hmm. Brent was a service guy. Brent was new construction guy. I know he mm-hmm. won't mind me telling his story here a little bit, mm-hmm. but new construction all the way. In fact, when we first talked about service, the service, him. service guys, they're a joke. You know, service sucks. Service sucks. I don't know anything about service. Right. Okay. I hate service. Now he's all about value. He gets, mm-hmm. he gets the whole idea because that's what your customers, service customers are buying. Right. They're not buying plumbing. And this was just a year and a, year and a half ago, Brent. Right. Is that right? Less. I don't know if Leslie's and now, still on. Yeah, right. Now, mm-hmm. how many trucks do you have? Yeah. Five, six, seven. Right. In, in just a short period of time and gone from all new construction, all new construction, and right. now all residential service. Right. Can't can't keep up with it. Right. Yeah. Um, you know. So, guys, it can be done. It yep. absolutely can be done. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We, we've we witnessed it. Yep. So, yeah. So, there you have and it. And we're not lying. Yep. So. We'll tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Is that it, baby? That's it. Hey, these time. things that we discussed mm-hmm. here, all right, if you're truly serious about growing a successful and self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right, you need to check out my Success Academy, okay? Mm-hmm. In it, all right, I go over everything mm-hmm. that you can do just that. You right. Know, we talk about some of it, mm-hmm. you know, your honest hourly rate, your flat rate pricing, okay, the right kind of branding, all right, the systems that you need to have in place. Mm-hmm. Everything's in there, along with live coaching. You mentioned that as well. Right okay. Mm-hmm. All right, live coaching, so you can get your questions answered. And the Success right. Academy, Academy. Um, yeah, the Facebook page, um, that's a great place to ask those questions, Aaron. Yep. Great place. And it's mm-hmm. all in there, okay? And right now, you can check it out for free. 14-day mm-hmm. free trial, all right? Mm-hmm. So there's there's nothing to be scared of, okay? It's, scared. it's risk-free. Simply scared. type success in the comments. Or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success, mm-hmm. all right, to learn more and to grab your 14-day free trial. So uh-huh. do it. So do there it. you have it. Okay. All right, this is a good one. We're kind of all yes. over the place. A lot of stuff here, okay, <laughs> but do it. Hey, big takeaway, do your daily G- uh, GPS, GPS, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, and as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.